I think for most of us, the sea re remains one of the truly wild places on the planet. Kiwis all have an affinity with the ocean. We're an island nation. Growing up, it was a place where we would go as a whanau to collect kaimuana. We can get out there, uh, experience that feeling of being away from the influence of people. Sea is special because it has that ability to bring people together. Certainly in New Zealand, it's, uh, we've got a unique situation being an island. We've got an existing really uh, special uh, ecosystem there of, of animals that you know, aren't anywhere else in the world. We're potentially vulnerable to, um, to uh, marine pests. Vessels um, you know, coming in and out of marinas are one of the major vectors. Invasive species get around New Zealand and, and move to and colonise new habitats. Marine pests are a problem. They can outcompete with our native species. They can take away food sources. When I was a kid, my job was to clean the bottom of boats with a brush, uh, and it was just a few barnacles, that's all you would see. The invasive paddle crab is quite aggressive. We, we know that there are um, quite extensive populations in the Kaipara, and within that survey we found some little juveniles which we haven't been able to track before. Asian paddle crab and the Mediterranean fanworm. Um, they've completely changed a lot of, um, a lot of the, the natural ecosystem. Um, I hope we don't get any more uh, and I hope we don't spread um, the existing ones throughout New Zealand. Kia ora, I'm Melanie Tupe, um, one of the Marine Biosecurity Advisors for Auckland Council. I've been a water baby my whole life and I grew up on the west coast of Auckland. Thanks to the natural environment targeted rate, we have secured 10 years funding which has really allowed us to enhance and expand our team. We can now do a lot more work. Uh, we are doing surveys of areas that we didn't know what was where with the marine pests and we're doing more and more surveillance and monitoring. The sooner we can identify something's in the country, um, the sooner we can deal with it, um, either through eradication or some um, management pathways. We are really focusing on reaching out to the public and letting them know about the impacts from marine pests, the impacts that they can have to our native biodiversity, the impacts that they can have to our agriculture, to our fishery stocks. And we want people to be aware so that they don't move pests around the region into areas where they haven't been established yet. In the first instance is getting everyone to care. We need more people caring about marine biosecurity um, and more people um, playing their part. I mean, it's not just up to councils and government and research organisations, it is up to us as individuals. And it's all part of that, um, that Kiwi culture. We look after what we have um, because, yeah, there's no place like this in, in the world. We are part of the environment, so we need to look after it for future generations too. So if you're a boaty, uh, make sure your hull's clean. Um, be aware that you can transport things around the country. Basically just clean before you move your boat and check and clean all your gear to prevent the spread of marine pests.